Hello everyone, my name is Vincent and we are live from the Tiemann uh, User Conference in Cine. And I have the pleasure to be with Marius uh, here to talk in this video about the REST API. Yes. Welcome Marius. Oh, thank you. Hi. So if you don't know Marius, Marius is at Cuboys, our Batman. Except he doesn't wear the costume. So during the day, he's working as a consultant, but at night and on the weekend, he's helping the worldwide community on Python. And he has a very uh, strong knowledge in the REST API. So we are getting more and more questions about what is a REST API. So that's why we wanted to discuss and explain to you uh, what is it and uh, how you can use it. So maybe my first question to you, uh, yeah. Marius, is uh, what is the TM1 REST API? Well, uh, um, yeah, the TM1 REST API, that's uh, essentially uh, three acronyms in one name, right? TM1, that's, um, that's the reason why we're all here today. And we've got uh, the API, that's an application programming interface. What that allows us to do is to interact TM1 programmatically. So we've had old APIs in the past, right? Like the Java API, the VB API, and that allows us to do stuff with TM1 from a certain technology. Mm. But um, what REST, REST is something new. That is um, a set of standards for an API. And um, yeah, I think that explains it well. Yeah, so, but, so as you <coughs> said, um, we already had some APIs. Like uh, before, actually, what Architect does, Architect use an API to talk to the TM1 server. It was using the C API. Yeah. So now there is a new API, which is the the REST API, like why, why did IBM came up with the, the new REST API? Th there was already one. Yeah, um, I think strategically from an IBM perspective, um, they wanted to offer planning analytics in the cloud and they needed a way to do that. And with the old APIs, um, they could not have done that. And um, so that's why they introduced the, the HTTP based uh, REST API originally. And for, for us, like as uh, tier one nerds and uh, IBM partners, that opens up a lot of opportunities. Mm. So yeah, and as you said, the REST API, it's not, uh, has not been invented or created by IBM. It's a standard. And yeah. all the most popular platforms like Salesforce, they're using REST API. So now we have REST API inside TM1. Exactly. So it enables us to talk to any services. So um, actually, that was my question. So what can we do with it? What can we do with this uh, new API in TM1, the REST API? Yeah, like um, as, as we're doing QPIs, we're building applications on top of that. And one of that application is TM1 Pi. That's, that's great if you want to do something with Python. Or other applications as UX Canvas, if, you, if mm. you're looking for a web front end mm. um, on TM1, right? But can you use the REST API uh, by yourself? Like uh, you just have TM1 and you yeah. want to start using the REST API? Can uh, you, yes, you can. Can you use it? Absolutely. Like it's, it's enabled by default. And um, so you can just go ahead and use it. But that's, um, the thing is, it's not entirely uncomplicated. Yeah, but there I are different steps. So, yes. what are, if you, I'm a TM1 developer, I want tomorrow to start using REST API on my application. So first I need to be on Planetics, you know the minimum version? What is the minimum version? Oh yeah, um, that's TM1 10.2.2, but ideally, five, maybe. Uh, yeah. I think it's fixed back five, yes, yeah. but ideally you start with TM1.11, right? Yeah, yeah, because it has been improved a lot by IBM over version. So um, yeah, so I'm a TM1 developer, I'm on Planetics, and I want to start using the REST API yeah. today. Yeah, so cool. where should I start? And could you explain maybe quickly the steps yeah. of uh, getting data, um, maybe getting like, data from uh, web services into a TM1 cube? Well, I think, I think if, you, if you're just trying to explore the REST API, the best thing to do is um, you download Postman and you go to our blog because we've written some good articles how to get started with the REST API. So like... Um, yeah, there's a collection. There's a collection even, yeah, yes. So a collection of around 30 or 40 sample requests that you can use and I think that should help you to get a feeling for the API to get started and see how things work. Yeah, because an HTTP request is the very long URL, and it could looks, uh, it looks technical. It might not be easy to create yeah, it from man. scratch. Yeah. So if you don't know the collection, it's already there, and you can just start and tweak and create new ones. Exactly. And some of these requests, they're, they're real beasts, right? Mm. Um, so it's, 
it's good to, to set with a to start with a set of samples. Okay. And what about the authentication? Like, because if I want to talk to TM1, I need to authenticate. Exactly. Like, is it um, is it easy to do? Or I think you have experience between different security, <coughs> different type of yeah, TM1 um, security. Yeah, that's some of the some of the effort that we have to put into TM1 Pi. Right, it does, does need to be able to connect to um, all the different uh, security modes that TM1 offers. Right, you you need to be able to connect with a basic um, user and password authentication, but it also needs to access through a CAM with a single sign-on. And this is um, well, some of the intelligence that we had to put into TM1 Pi to to build this this collaborative tool that um, works for everyone. Yeah, and there's OpenID coming. Exactly. And more and more people are using OpenID. If you're not familiar with OpenID, it's uh, actually you're using every day when, for instance, when you have your Facebook account and you want to log into booking.com, on the booking.com website, you get the, a login screen when you can use your Facebook uh, ID. So this is OpenID. That's what you will be able to do with TM1. Yes. And TM1 Pi hopefully will support it as well. Uh, uh, yes. So um, yeah. Working so on it. Okay. So you talked about Postman. So what would be the advantage of uh, using TM1 Pi? So both are free products. Yes. So you have Postman and TM1 Pi. Yeah. So what would be the advantage of using TM1 Pi compared to Postman to, uh, to I mean do some stuff with I think Postman just helps you to get started, right? And so you're doing bare HTTP requests, and that's a good way to get started. But when you're trying to build an entire application, um, you, don't, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Like there's um, TM1 Pi, um, I mean, I guess it consists of uh, like 10,000 lines of code. Mm. So if you're a developer and you want to build an application, this is 10,000 lines of code that you don't need to worry about. Yeah. That are, that are have a good test coverage, right? And they're actively maintained by us and by the TM1 community. So I think there's, there's a strong interest for someone who wants to build an application to start with this and not start from the ground. Yeah, because especially if, if, we, if we go back to the stage, so uh, when you want to get data from TM1, so first you need to authenticate, then to create data, data you need to write MDX query. Exactly, yeah. And then you need to transform this data. Yeah. So all this, uh, the authentication, the MDX query, if you're not familiar, this is what uh, tm one Pi will cover for you. Yes. Because tm one Pi comes with uh, lots of functions. Don't know if you're how many, but there are functions by object that you don't really. You can just call a function; it will get you the data. Exactly. Don't need to don't need to worry about um, parsing the JSON, that kind of stuff. Okay. Sounds uh, sounds good. So um, where should I start if I want to start uh, using tm one Pi today? So you said Postman, I can download it. It's free. Yep. And for tm one Pi, where, where should I start? Do I need to install anything? Like, what would be the requisite? So I think you can do it in five minutes, actually. You five just um, download Python, you install tm one Pi, and uh, then you're good to go. Then you download our samples from, from the GitHub tm one Pi samples project, and you play around with that. Yeah, because there are, I think, now there are close to 70 samples that you can start using in. But obviously, start in dev. <laughs> start in prod, <laughs> because you can do pretty much everything. You can create cube, you can uh, update rules, update dimensions. So yeah, so I think that's about it. We covered the introduction. So All right. uh, I hope you uh, learn a bit and um, that you will uh, try uh, the REST API. Lots of cool stuff you can do yeah. with Postman, TM1 Pi, or even other, any languages, actually, that you can use. So thank you, Marius. All right. And I hope we'll uh, do a, another video soon. <laughs> All right, man. Hey. Thank you. Bye.